Synthesizing a peptide by hand can be a long process that takes multiple days or even weeks to complete based on the length of your peptide and your time in lab. When storing your peptide in between synthesis reactions, there are some important steps to note that can prevent any undesired reactions and help keep your synthesis as clean as possible. Avoid storing your peptide after a deprotection step. While your peptide is unrisen, you will always want to store it with all the FMOC and protecting groups coupled. This keeps the most reactive groups from undergoing any undesired reactions. This means that after a coupling step is the best stopping point. Before you store your peptide, wash it with DMF, then wash with DCM. Drying out the resin with DCM will further prevent any undesired reactions. After your peptide is dry, you should store it in the fridge, making sure that your sample is clearly labeled. When you resume your synthesis, be sure to swell your resin in DMF for at least half an hour before proceeding.